Traders War Room proudly presents the daily video with the best trading and investing alerts anywhere on any platform with up-to-date stock, chart, and market news. TWR is simply your one-stop shop. Tweaky Tuesday. What is up, team? Chuck with Traders War Room, and I'm back at you with another video. Guys, this is your Tweaky Tuesday video, and I got a fantastic one for you. But what I need you to do right now is I need you guys to hit that like, that share, and that subscribe button, and I need you guys to come along with me on a journey and check that description tab out because you know I got them hyperlinks to all the great products and services that Traders War Room offers you guys so you guys can make tons of money. Now, without further ado, if you're ready, follow me, and let's go to war together, team Traders War Room, baby. Let's get it right now. Activate your two-day trial of TWR All Access on the Discord platform. We cover it all at Traders War Room. Whether you're looking for stocks, options, futures, forex, crypto, or even sports betting, or you want real-time alerts, live trading, algo signals, or even if you just want to be part of a community of like-minded investors to grow, learn, and share together as a team. Something for everyone at Traders War Room. Activate your two-day trial today and go to war with TWR. Stay tuned at the end for TWR Hot Products and Services. Alert update. Let's take a look at GE. This was a great trade. We had a lot more time on this, but you know what? It was moving, it moved quick, and GE is extremely popular. So I, instead of risking the rejection from support, we go ahead and book them gains. We went in at 80, came out 135, and I'm good with the profit all out, all contracts. Look at Wells Fargo, and man, did I get some hate on this trade, especially as the banking stock started to rebound a little bit. But I said, hey, just chill, be patient, and look at it right there. More than a 2x on this trade. 38 put Wells Fargo. We went in at 70, came out today, 155, good to go. We saw the weakness in SPY, and we went ahead and capitalized, guys. Look at that. 407 puts on SPY, entered at 70, came out at 180, another 2x, baby. And finally came out full position on BABA. We've been eating off of this for a while. We entered this 98 put, 175. We trimmed on high at 310 and came out full position today at 292. 100 to $1,000 per day is possible as a Traders War Room Market Warrior. So quit wasting that money that's not making money and join TWR today. All links are in the description. Hot off the press. So on top news, Asia equities struggle as U.S. banking fears persist and the market wraps. Basically, a gauge of Asian shares fell as continuing concerns over the health of U.S. banks snapped a four-day win streak on Wall Street and the announcement that New Zealand's dollar rose after the central bank raised interest rates more than expected. They raised it by 0.5. So that should get some concern probably into the market, maybe potentially looking at a lower opening than expected. One of the hottest AI stocks, AI is the ticker, plunges more than 26% because of a short sale letter. Basically, it came out, this short um, hedge fund said that there was some issues with their financial numbers and how they perceive profits and stuff like that. And basically was just ripping apart some of their financial practices. And, you know, what's great about these short sellers is their entire job is to find short opportunities. So they write up all these documents and stuff like that. But what usually happens is when the stock gets hit with them, it usually brings out some underlying aspects uh, that the stock has been getting away with, and especially if it's a hot stock like the AI buzzword is hot right now. So this will be interesting to see how this plays out. I give it a 50-50 on a case continuation to the downside as it's up more than 100% already on the AI buzz. However, we could see some resurgence from such a dramatic dump that we could get a nice bounce from a rejection point of support. So we'll see how it opens tomorrow and how it handles the market. And Jamie Dimon says bank crisis is not over yet and JP Morgan plans for the future. Basically, they're looking at still high probability of recessions uh, coming into this year 
And Jamie Dimon is telling people not to get too comfortable within the stock market right now because he foresees a lot more issues, specifically in the banking sector, which he's the CEO of J.P. Morgan and Chase. He sees more issues with the banking sector moving forward, and he doesn't think that the worst has come yet. Stocks I like. All right, so let's talk about SPY first. SPY is looking like it's on some downward trending pressure. We got the top line trigger at 411. We got the bottom line trigger at 407. Basically, it can go either way. We close on the four minute or the four hour chart below our short moving average. So this gives me the idea that we got some continued pressure, especially if the sentiment is still bearish. We probably got more continued pressure to at least go retest those lower levels, that 406, 405 level. So the higher probability would be more to the short side of the game if we continue in the bearish trajectory. AI got absolutely crushed after that short sell report. So it gives us an opportunity now. We could easily see a bounce rejection from here from such a dramatic dump. So we got the top line trigger set at 25. We got that bottom line trigger set at 22. And I'm going to give you guys a, another free trade idea. Reading that short sell report, it gives a lot of credit on the short side of the house. So we're going to look for the short on this one. AI, $20 put, pushing out until May 19th, has the volume. Delta to theta ratio is beautiful. So we're going to try to get this trade tomorrow at as cheap as we can get it. Okay, so we want to make sure we ride the trend. This gives us enough time that we can wade some of the choppy waters. But remember, we want to try to get this on a peak so that we get a cheaper price. And we're going to ride this thing all the way down over the next coming weeks. Johnson Johnson got a big push. When I see charts like this, I automatically think a little too much too soon. And especially since they're going to be shelling out $9 billion, now I get it. It's over a period of years and they're doing just basically a settlement thing. So it's no real big damage on Johnson Johnson. But still, you see things like this and you got to always go to the idea that too much too soon. So just in case we get the top line trigger set at 165, we'll call it 165.25. And the bottom line trigger sit there at 165. Excuse me, 161. So those are going to be the triggers that kind of... Man, excuse me, I'm <laughs> hiccuping all over the place. Those are going to give us the ideas for the triggers. But remember, we can also play this on the day. It's probably going to see some volatility from such a dramatic push to the upside. A lot of people have probably been in Johnson Johnson since, you know, the 150s. So this will be a prime opportune time to go ahead and start profit taking. So I would be more inclined to the short side of the house near term with a potential breakout coming as well. So it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out tomorrow. AVXL is trending again. Anytime you get some of those news on those breakthrough studies in Alzheimer's and dementia and Parkinson's disease, AVXL is one of those that's primed to see some benefits. So we go ahead and set the top line trigger there, 877, bottom line around 819. I do like this one for shares long, especially if they come out successfully in their trials that they got going on. And this is a cheap stock that you can probably find a good contract with low risk but high reward pushing out for a little bit so i'd be looking at you know ten dollars maybe fifteen dollars maybe even twenty dollars if you get a leap going into 2025. disney i'm liking what i'm hearing coming out of disney and fighting off you know the man over there so definitely we'll be looking for the trigger to the upside at 125 and we'll be looking for a trigger to the downside anything that breaks solidly below that 99 dollar probably get some retests of some lower levels but if i had to bet on this one i'd be betting that we probably reject off of support down at some lower levels and we'll get a strong rebound to try to break out of this consolidation zone that we have and last but not least walmart walmart absolutely had been crushing here recently hit the peak of about 149 and now you're seeing some profit taking on the walmart side of the house so i do think we get some more continuation to the downside i'd be more inclined to go short on this one maybe push out into may if we can find a decent contract staying at the money in the money as much as possible but we'll play this one by ear see how this does but it's lost both of its short and you know, further out moving average and it's knocking on the door of its 50. So we're definitely looking for a little bit more pressure to the downside on this particular ticker. Upcoming events. Plan your battles with Traders Warroom Classes. Join TWR 
on 9 April at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time and learn how to day trade utilizing the MACD and price action momentum with TWR instructor Shiner. The volatility in the market can cause investor frustration and even anger. So to stay calm, cool, and collected, you have to have a plan. That's where TWR has you covered. It seems easy, right? You buy here, you sell there, you're rich. Um, yeah, not exactly. Shiner's gonna teach you guys what he's learned over 35 years of experience, specializing in momentum trading, and he's an expert at the MACD and price action strategy. Allow TWR not only to teach these proven strategies, but also how to use them so that you can win and make money. Register for class today. The link's in the description or go to traderswarroom.com and I will see you there in class. As always, let's go to war. The market is our war zone and stocks are the battle. Join TWR and let's go to war. Make the market bend the knee in 2023. Join Traders War Room and bow to no one. Let's go to war.